I know I don't really talk about men, but this is still like a woman centered content. And you know, if I'm I'm not anything if I'm not for the girlies. So a first uh, kind of green flag I feel like you should look out for and that you're probably seeing but you are dismissing is a man that is all about you. You know, so I don't say that a man that is all about God or a man that is a feminist or a man that is this or a man that is that. No, a man that is all about you, that you are his priority. You are his world. Just because he calls you every now and then, just because he texts you, just because he sends you, he spends on you, does not mean that he's all about you. Look at your friendships. Look at the kind of relationships you have with people. Not necessarily romantic relationships. Look at the people, friendships that you have with people. And look at people that you consider serious, that you consider your persons. Someone that is serious about you will not um just be talking about sex every time. We're not just talking about hanging out, uh, coming to visit him, uh, giving you excuses that uh, he's busy, he went to this, he went to that, um, his work is, do- no, that's that not someone that is serious about you. See, when a man shows that is important to you, you will know. You will know, you won't have to second guess it. You won't have to be asking your friends. You won't have to be like, you know, Googling it, uh, how to know. No, you will know. Like it's so obvious and it is so tangible that you will know. And I, I wish that for you to be very honest. So please take note of a man that is serious about you. Next on the list, my next on the list is a man that has boundaries. You know, I really find it very off-putting to be a man that has access, that everybody has access to you. I, I really don't like it. I don't care the gender that has the access to you, but like you are just open for everybody. You don't have boundaries. You are not a strict man. You don't have standards. My whole point is if you want to be a girl that is serious, you should focus on a man that has boundaries, a man that can tell people no, a man that can draw the line between um, what's important and what's not. A strict man will always be a green flag because you can tell when you have annoyed this person or you can tell when you are pleasing him. Like there are no games with him. If a man has boundaries, certain things that he doesn't allow will not come to you. But if someone that doesn't have boundaries that says yes to everything that is a people pleaser, that that doesn't have a backbone, a, lo- a lot of the disrespect he takes will inadvertently come to you. And that's kind of, I don't know what that kind of relationship can be. Like, that is like a, a nonsense relationship because a lot of the rubbish that he's taking will just come into you and it will just be, it will affect your self-esteem, it will affect your place in the relationship, it will affect how to even relate with people going forward. Because if, for example, he's somebody that allows anything, that allows uh, his family to talk to him anyhow, he allows friends to talk to him anyhow, he doesn't have boundaries, he's a yes man, yes man, yes man. If you are like a strict babe, for example, and you are you are no nonsense person, every time that you call their bullshit out, every time you call something, every time you make it known that you are upset, it's going to be like you are doing too much because your man that he's supposed to be uh the one blocking those kind of things from you is allowing it. Next on my list, and I this I feel like this goes without saying, is a man that has a plan. You, a lot, how are you going to feel confident and safe and secure with him if he doesn't have a plan? Because he might not, okay, he might not be 100% like successful now. He might not be doing anything. Uh, things might not be really working out for him. But when you know that this person consciously, constantly makes plans, even in your relationship, it assures you to a certain level. There's a certain kind of reassurance that comes with making a plan because it's like, this person is preparing for something, yeah? And someone that is ambitious, there's nothing like, I feel like ambition is sexy. And someone that has a plan can inspire confidence. Like, are you guys piecing this series together? So somebody that has a plan, you can be in a ship with that person. You can allow that person to steer you. That's a green flag in my books any day. If I see someone that know that, that like, oh, I remember somebody I met, I was like, oh, after his NYC, he's going to do this. He's going, the thing is about life is that it might not turn out that way. Oh. The way the person has a plan, it might not turn out that way, but that's a guideline already. Someone that has a plan that, that will say, okay, after this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Ha. 
And that's a green flag. So these are just the three green flags I'm going to talk about today. And the truth is that there might be many more, but like I'm not a man person and I don't really know. And relationships are really, you know, very dicey. But these three green flags never fail me, at least in my opinion, like my personal opinion. Remember that these are my personal opinions though. Like they never fail me. A man with a plan, a man that has boundaries and a man that is all about you. They never ever fail. So if you have this kind of men in your corner, if you have this kind of men in your life, that are serious about you, not the ones that are, like their work is their their baby, their mommy is their baby. Or this, if you have this kind of men in your life, like I feel like you can, you know, they're green flags. So they're green flags, yeah. So this is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you agree with me, or if you have like you know other opposing ideas, or if you have uh situations that you feel like we can discuss don't be shy don't be shy tell me in the comment section what you feel about this video and yeah i'll be in the comment section looking at your responses i love you guys thank you so much for watching bye